Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to discuss the example for function and graph. So kindly refers to the question, a function f is given by the function we have x squared minus 2x plus 3. By using the graphical method, so is f a one-to-one -one function? So now we're going to use the graphical method. So before we start, we have to make sure the function must be in a standard form. So fx is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 3. Kindly completing the square, plus bracket, square minus bracket, square plus with the 3. Fill up the bracket with negative 2 over 2, or we can say negative 1. Next, simplify. So we have x minus 1 bracket square, and then we have plus with the 2. So that will be the standard form. Step number 1 refers to the shape. So by referring to the function, we have the quadratic. The coefficient for the x square will be greater than 0. So the shape will be u shape. Next, we have to find the intercept. We have x intercept and y intercept when y is equal to 0. So kindly substitute. We have x square minus 2x plus with the 3 equals to 0. By using the discriminant, we have b squared minus 4ac. So we have negative 2 bracket square minus 4. a is a 1. And then we have 3 for the c. So if we substitute, we have 4 minus 12, means that negative 16 less than 0. So b squared minus 4ac less than 0 means that no real root for this case. Meaning that no real root or we can say no x-intercept. Next, in order to find the intercept for y, so x must be equal to 0. If we substitute, y is equal to 3. So the coordinate will be 0, 3. Continue. We have the standard form for the following step. So if we refer to the situation, we have x minus 1 bracket square plus with the 2. In here, we will have minimum point, which is 1, 2. The symmetrical axis by refers to the minimum point, the value of x. So x is equal to 1. Next, we are going to sketch the graph. So by referring to the shape, we have the u shape. Then we have the x intercept, does not exist. Then we have 0, 3. So 0. Let's say here we have 1, 2, and 3. Y intercept. Continue, we have the minimum point, 1, 2. Let's say over here. So kindly sketch the graph. So here we have the graph for the function fx is equal to x squared minus 2x plus with the 3. Then we have the symmetrical axis. x is equal to 1. So by referring to this case, thus the fx is a one-to-one -one function. So we have to make use of the horizontal line test. So by referring to the situation, here we have two points of intersection. Then we can say that fx is not one-to-one -one function because it cuts more than one point. So that is the situation for A, which is not one-to-one -one function. Continue. State the domain in which F is one-to-one -one function. Either we can refer to the function in a standard form, or we can refer to the symmetrical axis or the minimum point in order to decide where is the domain in order to make the situation one-to-one -one function. Or we can refer to the graph, which means that we can either refer to the left or refer to the right. For example, if we close up the left-hand side, then we will have the situation domain negative infinity until 1. And then the situation will be 1 to 1 for the function fx. Or domain start from 1 until infinity means that we close up the left-hand side. So that would be another answer for fx to be 1 to 1 function. So for this case, I prefer the right-hand side. If you're new here, kindly consider subscribing to this channel and share this video to your friend. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye.